Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My goodness me, has it been a while since we have done a proper, I was going to say sit down, but obviously I like to stand up for these, a proper stood up styling haul video. And if you watched my last video, you'll know what is in this box. I have the biggest box beside me from phase eight which is one of my favorite brands to shop for autumn winter i feel like they just do the perfect like capsule autumn wardrobe pieces so many gorgeous items that are really really high quality a good price point too and some items that i feel like are really going to stand the test of time in my wardrobe and fill some gaps for pieces that i really feel like i'm missing in my new season wardrobe we have got a lot of items to go through in this video this may be the biggest autumn wardrobe haul i will be doing this season we've got some knitwear pieces we've got some dresses we even have a new coat to unbox so get cozy grab yourself a hot drink and let's jump into it now let's start with some knitwear pieces i'm not gonna lie to you this haul actually has such a funny inspiration to it. i was actually inspired by the viral photo that has been going around i can't remember who it is i think it was a radio one dj recreated the iconic photo of harry from harry met sally the one like by the window he's got this big kind of like cable knit on and jeans it's just like a really classic like 90s photo and the main takeaway everyone took from that photo is how much knitwear has declined in quality and so i was really looking into my wardrobe and if you watched my last video you would have seen that i did my big autumn wardrobe switch over and it really allowed me to have a look at the pieces that i'm missing in my wardrobe and i do feel like really good quality knitwear is something i was really really missing now i'm quite particular with my knitwear the kind of thing i like to wear and the kind of thing i like to style and i must admit phase eight is one of my favorite brands when it comes to knitwear i feel like they are one of the few brands that has not reduced the quality of their knitwear and i really want to be adding pieces into my wardrobe now I'm going to be bringing out of storage the next year I do my autumn wardrobe switchover and the year after that and the year after that. And when I saw this jumper, I could not resist. I mean, how beautiful is this? It's very totem inspired in my opinion. Like I do feel like this real like geometric kind of print is really in at the moment. And I really, really love it because I feel like it's not really like a pattern. It's never going to go out of start. It's never going to go out of season, but it just adds a little bit of interest to your knitwear. And I have quite a few jumpers in my wardrobe that are just plain black, but I don't have anything like this. So I love the fact that it's actually like a bit of a ribbed knit. I find a ribbed knit so cozy, so comfy and really, really easy to style my other favorite thing about it is the fact that it is a mock turtleneck now if you're a short girl like me if you're new around here i'm five foot exactly and i feel like the shortest part about me is actually my torso and my neck so i really really struggle in autumn winter to find jumpers that are going to give me that cozy vibe without suffocating me and making me feel so claustrophobic in a turtleneck that comes up to here. So I love the fact that this is more of a mock turtleneck and phase eight do a lot of this style. So I really, really would recommend checking out their knitwear, especially if you're a short girl like me. Now this, I feel like it's just gonna be so perfect to style up with either leggings or wide leg trousers. I do love a slinky wide leg trouser, like a really easy like slip on loafer for this time of year. I feel like it's just giving that like effortless yet elevated vibe for me, especially around this time of year. I love hosting, I love hosting roasts, having people around for dinner, doing like lots of cozy things at home. And I feel like this is such a perfect like hosting outfit. It looks chic, it looks effortless, yet it just looks like you threw it on and you're just in the comfort of your own home. So this is a jumper that I feel like I am gonna get so much wear out of. It is just absolutely beautiful well if this isn't just the perfect cozy autumn outfit then i don't know what is would you look at this the jumper is just beautiful i'm so obsessed with the like geometric print i love the length of it as well and i just started up with wide leg trousers and as i said i feel like leggings would also be perfect with this i feel like leggings is a little bit more like every day this to me is like elevated comfy like this is such a perfect like sunday roast outfit whether you're hosting or going around someone's house i absolutely adore this because it's kind of like you're in your cozies but you look so chic and so elegant so i've just started up with my ugg boots i am so excited that it is officially ugg boot season and then the wide leg trousers i will leave these linked down below as well and i've also just decided to style up with my little longchamp bag because i just feel like it's really really cute just having like a little shoulder bag having something a bit smaller with like a bit more of an oversized 
oversized look I feel like really helps to kind of like balance out the outfit and I just am so obsessed with the grey suede on the long shot it is so so gorgeous um but the jumper itself is just beautiful as I said I feel like this is so timeless and classic I really really love the fact that it's long line because it means that if you're wearing this with leggings you don't need to worry about like your bomb being on show or any like pant lines being visible I just feel like it makes me a little bit more comfortable in jumpers like this I also quite like the fact that the sleeves are like bell sleeves I feel like I've not seen bell sleeves in a really really long time so I really like that but also I feel like you can easily just roll the sleeves up like away from your hands if you want something a little bit more um casual um and of course the mock turtleneck I mean how perfect is this on me like it comes up to my chin and I feel like when you see the jumper when I'm holding it up it doesn't look like this much of a neck you can see that I am fully covered up and fully cozy so these are perfect on me and I really love it with a hairstyle like this you could do it like fully back I feel like buns are great with this kind of a neckline because I just feel like the jump is what does all the talking and especially if you've got like a nice necklace on um like I've just got my little diamond one on I feel like it just elevates it even more so such a perfect jumper to add into my autumn winter wardrobe I am now, I know we talk a lot about ageless design on this channel, but it's because it's something I am so passionate about and I want to be making sure that anything I'm adding into my wardrobe now whilst I'm in my 20s I'm still going to be happy to wear in my 30s in my 40s in my 50s my 60s my 70s and this jumper I feel like is exactly that this is the kind of thing that I think is just going to be so cute for now I'm really going to be able to get my cost per wear out of but we'll also be able to wear in 10 15 20 years time this is beautiful again I feel like start up with wide leg trousers or even just like cozy leggings some loafers or Ugg boots if you want something really Really, really cozy this is beautiful it's another one with the mock turtleneck so you don't need to worry about getting loads of foundation on your jumper needing to worry about like your makeup and also it's really nice and cozy without being suffocating or without being claustrophobic so i really really loved that i also loved the pattern of this i thought it was really really cool again this kind of like geometric start i think it's so so beautiful and i love the fact that it's just monochromatic so i feel like you can't go wrong with a monochromatic look you can always like warm it up with some like tan accessories or if you want to just keep it completely basic and simple stick with a monochromatic look black leggings black bag black boots I feel like this is just the kind of jumper that is so easy to style so versatile and yet it's one that I feel like would get a lot of compliments I love this I think it's just so so beautiful another gorgeous knit oh my goodness me I'm obsessed but you just look at this the like geometric print but I love that it's not like blocky it's a little bit more kind of like movement in it and again it looks so so beautiful with the wide leg trousers this really is to me just giving like chic mum vibes I absolutely adore this again we've got the Ugg boots on because I just want to feel all the cozy vibes but this would also look gorgeous with leggings because again it's got the long line so your bum is completely covered which I really really like now I can't actually remember what size I picked up these jumpers in um so I will leave it linked down below in the description along with the link um to every single item from this haul if there's anything that you want to shop i'll leave all of the info down below in the description just click the little um it's like a dot 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 i think it is just underneath the title of the video click that and then you can see all of the links to everything that i have featured um, and then you know what size i picked up for reference i'm normally like a 12 normally like a medium so i think that's what i've gone for in these jumpers but i will confirm them down below um but yeah as you can see this is another one that is just so perfect with regards to the neck it actually comes up a little bit higher than the last you can see it's kind of if I push my head down it's starting to bend um so I might get a little bit of makeup on here so the best thing to do is just spray it with hairspray and then you don't need to worry as much about the transfer um I love the monochromatic feel I love how like cozy and comfy this is this to me is just like a perfect weekend knit and the kind of thing that I I'm just gonna live in in cozy season there's been a big trend this year that i have completely fallen down the rabbit hole of but it's one of those trends that i feel like won't date which i know kind of is complete contradiction to what a trend is but this is something that i feel like again i'll still be wearing my 30s 40s 50s and i've been adding so many into my wardrobe because i've realized how well they work with my style it's something i'm always really really big on is adding pieces into your wardrobe that feel like you and really reflect your true and personal style and i definitely think i need to have a bit of a clear out of my blazers because i just don't reach for them i'm not really much of a blazer girl i'm definitely someone who prefers a little bit more of like a feminine silhouette especially when 
when it comes to my outerwear. So this cardigan is just the perfect thing to add into my wardrobe. Now I don't really know what these are actually called. Most people don't like call them like tweed jackets, tweed cardigans, like cropped cardies. I don't really know what the official name is. I feel like we need to have a name. It's just a really beautiful like crew neck, very Emily Gilmore kind of a cardi. And what I really loved about this one is this one is just like a real knitted material. Now I have a few in my wardrobe that are more like coats. Definitely can't wear them until I'm like out of the house. This one, I feel like I can wear in or out of the house. And this one I feel like will be great if you're going somewhere and you don't know how warm you're gonna be. I'm someone that runs really, really cold. I don't know if it's just because I'm quite small. I'm not sure what it is, but I run really cold and I hate it when I'm cold. And this is the time of year where it's like, do they have their heating on? Do they not have their heating on? And sometimes I go around to people's houses and everyone else is absolutely fine. They're in like t-shirts. They've got like no socks on, they're fine. I am freezing. I'm just always that person that's so much colder than the rest. And I feel like this is a great one to wear because it doesn't look out of place that you're wearing it inside someone's home but at the same time it's like outerwear that you can easily just like slip off if you get to the house and they've got a log fire burning and it's really really warm like I feel like this is one that's like I put a lot of thought behind it but it's because it's really important to me to stay comfy stay warm especially if you're going around someone else's house so I really loved that I also just love the like weave that runs through it it's really really different it's like this kind of like bisky color running through with this like creamy color and then I also love the gold buttons that run down it and I must admit it feels weighty like really really good quality so again the kind of thing that i think is going to last in my wardrobe and i'm really going to get my cost per wear out of now this is a cardigan that i feel like required a little bit more styling now as you can see it's actually a little bit oversized and it's the longest line cardigan of these kind of like cropped tweed crew neck cardies whatever you want to call them this is like the longest version i've ever seen which i quite like because i definitely don't have any this length in my wardrobe now i've rolled up the sleeves because i feel like the sleeve length was just a little bit too much it looked a bit too big on me but the second i rolled the sleeves up i was like yes this is elegant this is elevated i am loving this and again with the wide leg trousers i feel like wide leg trousers to me just gives like emily gilmore vibes especially start up with a cardigan like this now i also think this would work so so well i don't actually have a t-shirt on underneath but a little crew neck tee open it up have it a little bit more undone just like a little bit more of like a layering piece i think would be so so beautiful so I definitely think this is going to be staying in my wardrobe i'm just so obsessed with like the pattern the like zigzag design and the buttons that run down it oh it's a, such a gorgeous piece and one that again i feel like it's just going to be completely ageless and i'm going to have in my wardrobe for years to come now this next one is kind of same same but different so i'm really going to need your help in whether i should keep or return this because i'm not sure if i'm leaning too much into the trend kind of aspect of these cardigans it's this really gorgeous boucle style now as you can see it's a lot more fitted than the other one the other one was really really oversized this one is a little bit more fitted a little bit more dainty very feminine but the main thing i'm concerned about is the material i don't know if you can see but it's this like boucle material which is very in at the moment so will i regret buying this in two three years time will this be the kind of thing that i feel like I'm not really gonna wear after two three years i'm not sure i do think it's beautiful i love the fact that it's just a plain white i don't have like a plain kind of color like this and again i love the gold buttons that that run down i think it's so so beautiful and i also love that this is more of a knitted one rather than like a coat one like a jacket it's again something you can wear in and out of the house but I'm just a little bit unsure how much wear I'm gonna get out of it in the long run. So please comment below, is this a keep or is this a return? Okay, I am really going to need your help with this one because I do love how it looks. I actually prefer how this one looks done up as well. I think it's really, really cute to start up with just like trousers. You could do like slip skirts underneath, dresses. The one thing I would say is this, this is itchy. And I am very sensitive when it comes to materials and I don't have anything on underneath this at the moment So I would say if you're gonna style this it needs layers Underneath it whether that's a roll neck a t-shirt a thermal because I kind of already feel like the squirminess starting So it's the one that I'm most unsure about I'm not gonna return it until I hear your opinions So comment down below keep or return help a girl out. What should I do? Now let's move on to dresses because if you know me, you will know that spring, summer, autumn, winter, I live in dresses. I feel like they're just an outfit in themselves. Like you need to spend less money on it. You have less to think about, less to like style up. And yet they look so, so elegant. And particularly in autumn, winter, jumper dresses are my jam. But I do feel like it's quite difficult to find like 
different jumper dresses to add into your wardrobe and I don't ever want to get too samey with my wardrobe I don't want to just have like the same thing in 10 different colors all the time I like to have a different alternative and a few different like variations and when I saw this jumper dress guys I fell in love with it i mean how stunning is this i am really noticing that this kind of like geometric block color print is so in this year and i'm really really loving it because as i said it's just a really great like different variation on something that maybe you have in your wardrobe already and it's just a really really nice way to like switch it up a little bit now my favorite thing about this dress is actually the skirt and i feel like you're gonna have to wait to the cutaway for me to try it on for you to be able to see how beautiful this really is because i have so many jumper dresses that are just body cons straight up straight down really really simple styling this actually has the most beautiful silhouette that is like stitched into it like comes in at your waist and comes out at your hips so it's almost more of like a a-line kind of silhouette it has a little bit more to it which i just absolutely adore the one thing that i feel like would make this dress would be pockets but i understand it's probably to do with the silhouette and the styling of it but i just feel like again this is the kind of dress i can totally picture myself keeping in my wardrobe for years and years and years you can style this up you can style it down it's great if you work from home and you want to be elevated smart yet comfortable this is what i kind of live in throughout the autumn winter months and I just could not get over it. I really hope it's still in stock by the time this video goes live because you guys are going to love this just as much as I do. Oh dear. We have reached the point in the hall where my hair is just looking more and more disheveled the more knitwear pieces we try on. So we're just going to ignore that because it's just going to get worse and worse with each outfit. But this dress, my goodness me, this dress, oh my word i don't think i've ever tried on such a flattering jumper dress this is absolutely stunning i've just put on my favorite pair of autumn winter boots my vivaya boots i feel like sock boots are so perfect to wear the jumper dresses especially if the jumper dress kind of like comes out at your waist because it really helps like pull the leg up pull the eye up and create like a really flattering elongating silhouette now i am someone that i love a little bit of hip action i'm a very hippie person i'm a very curvy person and i feel like that very feminine silhouette silhouette is very me and it does definitely come out like even further actually than my hips in the way that it's kind of like built and the way that the material is stitched and I personally love that it's going to be personal preference not everyone will but I adore it I also love the um monogrammatic monochromatic um geometric print that's the word that i'm looking for i love the geometric style to it i also love the fact that this lighter color does not come over any of like i don't want to call them problem areas but any of my more self-conscious areas because for me this material is not flattering on my tummy this color is not flattering on my tummy i like a black on my tummy and then i love the fact that we have the pops of cream throughout the rest of the dress i feel like it keeps it really flattering and that silhouette really really elongating i also love the fact that it comes up at the neck i feel like it really helps like pull the eye up make you look taller really elongates your torso that is exactly what we are looking for and as you can see this turtleneck doesn't come up as high as some of the others so i really like it because it's nice and cozy but it's not too claustrophobic or anything so this is a dress that i am definitely going to get a lot of wear out of over the next coming months and hopefully in the next few years because i just think it's so beautiful so really really happy about this one now this next dress I actually have one of you guys to thank for this because I asked you to send me if you see anything like this on the market, whether it's high street, high end, if you see anything like this. And that is a jump dress with pleats. Now, I love pleated dresses i just feel like they're so elegant they're so feminine they're so easy to style yeah i feel like there's a bit of a gap on the market for more kind of like wintry versions and one of you guys sent me this and this was actually the dress that kickstarted this whole haul for so you are to blame for this video right now i just fell in love with this now it's a little bit more of like an actual turtleneck that you do need to like roll down but i love the fact that you have the option to roll it down and roll it away from your face a bit and it also comes with a belt which i'm going to style it up and see if it needs it we could always go without but i love the fact that it does have the belt loops so you have the option if you want it or not but i really really loved the pattern on the skirt again it's like a geometric print very autumn winter appropriate i really really love it again quite totem inspired i feel like phase eight are really going down like a totem vibe at the moment but this 
with boots with like a little boucle jacket over the top a little cropped cardi and your favorite autumn winter handbag and you've just got a look this would also be perfect if you work in an office if you're looking for some new office attire for me this is great for working from home it's also great for like going into london for meetings and things like that i feel like this is just one of those dresses that is never going to date it's never gonna tire. I just absolutely adore her. Oh my goodness, we have another winner. Oh my word, this is gonna be a dress I'm gonna get so much wear out of. And I didn't actually realize the bottom of it is like, it's called a handkerchief style where it's kind of like asymmetric. I feel like, like it looks really, really cool. It kind of softens the dress a little bit, makes it a bit more everyday rather than just purely office wear. Now again, I've styled the sock boots because I feel like nothing is more flattering than a jumper dress and sock boots. And I just want to twirl in this. I love the way that the skirt moves. Now, I actually have not added the belt. I personally don't think it is needed, but I love the fact that it comes with it as a little additional extra if you did want to, but I think it's a little bit more seamless and a little bit more streamlined without it. It almost looks like you've got a jumper and skirt on, which I quite like about this. Um, so yeah, this is a dress that I am absolutely obsessed with. I'm definitely gonna get a lot of wear out of it. It's just classic, it's timeless. It's the kind of piece that I can wear for so many different occasions and I can style it in so many different ways. That is exactly what I want to be adding into my autumn winter wardrobe. And of course, we have saved the best till last. Now I feel like I've really gone on a journey over the last few years with regards to the coats in my wardrobe i used to buy so many coats every single year and i would really lean into the trends and i really go with what's cool and now i feel like i've just completely changed my tune i want classic i want elegant i want timeless and i want to make sure that i do not have to buy three four new coats every single autumn i want to buy one coat maybe to last me four or five years like that's what i want to do and this coat i feel like is the answer to my prayers i have been looking for this coat for so so long and it is a beautiful just plain black woolen coat now the reason why i have struggled so much in the past is because i feel like so many brands really lean into the like the boxiness the androgynousness androgynousness androgynous androgynous masculine style let's go with that and i feel like so many of them just have like real like shapelessness to them and i don't always want that sometimes i love that in a coat but often i just want to feel quite feminine in my outfits and i really love a waist i love being able to like cinch in my waist i love being able to like show off those kind of like silhouettes and like that frame and this coat is just exactly that it is so beautiful so elegant and so warm oh my gosh like this is honestly so heavy to hold up i'm gonna get like arm ache from having to hold it above my head it's like a workout i love how big the panels are like look at that it really kind of like emphasizes your shoulder which i really like it does have a belt to cinch in the waist and i feel like this is the kind of coat that you can style up for anything in autumn winter like if you're going to a christmas party this is going to be great if you're going to the office this is going to be great you can wear it for day you can wear it for night you can dress it up or dress it down and that is exactly what i have been looking for and price wise i feel like in terms of woolen coats it is 225 and I have paid a lot more money for coats that I have not kept in my wardrobe for a very long time. So I feel like I'm really going to get the cost per wear out of this. And I know I bang on about cost per wear so, so much. But it really is important when looking in pieces that you're going to be adding into your wardrobe. And if you don't know what cost per wear is, I feel like I've explained it 10 million times. But I'll explain it once more. Let's use a nice round number, like £100. If you spend £100 on a coat and you wear it 100 times, that is a £1 cost per wear. Amazing. If you spend £20 on a coat but only wear it once... That's a £20 cost per wear. That is a much worse investment than something that was a little bit more expensive. So just adding pieces into your wardrobe that are maybe a little bit more of an investment, but you're going to be able to get so much wear out of. They're going to last you a really, really long time and you're going to get that cost per wear down. That is what I want to be looking for when it comes to adding pieces into my wardrobe. So I'm so excited about this coat. I'm not joking when I said I've saved the best till last. It is Beautiful. And last, but certainly not least, the woolen coat of dreams. The woolen coat of dreams. I'm actually obsessed with this length. I really struggle with coats in the winter because so many of them are full on maxis and I just cannot get away with it, even with like a little heel like this. So many of them come so close to the ground that I know even if I like step foot out the door, if there's been a little bit of drizzle, the whole of the bottom is gonna get ruined. Whereas this is actually so much shorter than I was expecting, but in the best way possible. So you can see a little bit of the dress underneath, which I really, really like. So with your own trousers or 
dresses. I feel like so many options are going to work and I'm just obsessed with this silhouette. I've just tied it in a little bow because I do find if you just do like a knot, it doesn't quite stay because of the material. So you need like a double knot or a bow, um, but I feel like it's also just going to look so beautiful undone if you wear it a little bit more open, a little bit more kind of like cape style. I just feel like the big lapels are what really sold this dress to me. It makes it feminine yet like boxy at the same time. I just think it's so, so beautiful. So I really do feel like I finally found my perfect winter coat, the capsule autumn winter coat of dreams. This really, really is. So what a successful haul we have had, guys. My goodness me, so many gorgeous pieces to add into your autumn winter wardrobe. Some real like capsule wardrobe essentials that are really gonna take you through the next few really cozy months. So that was everything that I have been picking up from phase eight to add into my autumn winter wardrobe. I feel like it's been such a long time since we did like a full dedicated haul video but there was just so many pieces I was so excited to show you and I really do feel like all of these items are such great investments to add into my autumn winter wardrobe. So if you got to the end of this video Oh, it's been a while since we've done this. Comment the word knitwear down below in your comments. I always love knowing who gets to the end of the videos. I love confusing people as well. When people are like, hang on, why is everyone call commenting knitwear down below? And sometimes I do that. I forget what word I've given you guys. And then I come back to check my video. And I'm like, why is everyone commenting this word down below? So comment knitwear if you got to the end of this video. Just let me know you're excited about the coming season. And if you haven't already, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button. I now upload every Sunday and Wednesday. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a single video and on that note i'll leave you guys here and i'll see you in my next one bye